Hello everyone, this is Mr. Masonette. In this video, we are going to solve a system of inequalities by graphing. To do this, we'll convert each inequality into slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and then graph each line while shading the appropriate regions. Let us begin with the first inequality. First, we rewrite it in slope-intercept form. To isolate y, move the x term to the other side with the constant. Remember, when you move a term across an inequality or equal sign, you change its sign. For the first inequality, we move the positive x to the other side of the inequality sign, resulting in y is less than negative x plus 2. For the second inequality, we do the same thing. We move the positive x to the other side of the inequality, giving us y is less than or equal to negative x plus 1. Notice that both sides will have a slope of negative 1. Lines with the same slope will be parallel to each other. All right, now let's graph the first inequality. y is less than negative x plus 2. The y-intercept is positive 2, so plot a point at positive 2 on the y-axis. Next, using the slope of negative 1, we move down 1 and right 1 repeatedly to plot additional points. Since the inequality is strict, less than, meaning that we do not include values that are equal, the line will be dotted meaning points on the line are not solutions. Because our statement begins with y is less than, we must shade the area below our line. All right, now let's test a point to confirm that we shaded the correct region. For example, let us use negative 5, negative 2, which is in the shaded region. Substituting x equals negative 5 and y equals negative 2 into our inequality gives us negative 2 is less than 7, which is a true statement. This confirms that the solution region is below the dotted line. Now for the second inequality, y is less than or equal to negative x plus 1. The y-intercept is 1, so plot a point at positive 1 on the y-axis. Next, we use the slope of negative 1 to move down 1 and right 1 to create more points. Because the inequality is less than or equal to, the line is solid, indicating that points on the line are solutions. Shade the region below this line, as the inequality specifies y has to be less than or equal to. Notice that both lines are parallel as they have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. The solution to the system of inequalities is the overlap of the shaded regions. The region where the shading for both inequalities intersects is the solution to the system. Any point in this overlapping region satisfies both inequalities. For example, consider the point negative 6 and positive 4. Substitute it into both inequalities. For y is less than negative x plus 2, we have 4 is less than 6 plus 2 after substituting, which simplifies to 4 is less than 8, which is a true statement. For y is less than or equal to negative x plus 1, we have 4 is less than or equal to 6 plus 1, which when simplifying gives us 4 is less than or equal to 7, which is also true. Because both inequalities are satisfied, the point negative 6, positive 4 is a solution to the system. Finally, remember dotted lines indicate strict inequalities, less than or greater than, meaning points on the line are not solutions. That is why we use a broken or a dotted line to indicate a strict inequality. Solid lines indicate inclusive inequalities, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, meaning points on the line can be solutions. Always shade below the line for y is less than or y is less than or equal to, and above the line for y is greater than or y is greater than or equal to. The overlapping shaded region represents the complete solution set for the system of inequalities. Any point in this region will satisfy both inequalities. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new content to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.